Hi, I'm Teniola Shoboale. Here's your Channels TV Evening News Recap for April the 17th, 2020. Five coronavirus patients have been discharged in Edo State after they tested negative twice for COVID-19. Governor Godwin Obaseki, who announced this via his Twitter handle, says this has boosted the government's resolve to defeat the disease as it rolls out more measures to check the spread of COVID-19 in the state. Elsewhere, the Armed Forces of Nigeria has announced plans to provide the minimum necessary force to support the police and other security agencies to checkmate the activities of criminals taking advantage of citizens in the lockdown period. Staying in the nation's capital, the Minister of State for the Federal Capital Territory, Mrs. Ramatu Aliyu, has flagged off the distribution of the palliatives, which she says will capture all vulnerable persons residing in the FCT. A total of 600,000 households are expected to receive relief items as part of efforts to reduce the pain caused by the lockdown. Taking a break from the pandemic, there's been a fire outbreak at the Independent National Electoral Commission's office in Abuja. The National Commissioner in Charge of Information and Voter Education, Mr. Festus Okoye, says the fire was caused by an electrical fault and a minimal incident that did not affect sensitive documents warehoused in the commission. On the international scene, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says residents will receive a cash payment of $930 as measures to contain the coronavirus effect in the world's third top economy. In a televised news conference to explain his decision to expand a state of emergency nationwide, he said authorities are moving quickly to deliver cash to all people. This follows an initial plan to provide three times that amount to households, but it was discarded. And that's your evening news recap for today. Join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Tenyola Shubawale. Thanks for watching.